Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Brooks Ghost 13 against the New Balance Beacon 3. Right guys, so here we go. We've got two updated versions of two very popular shoes. We've got the Ghost and we've got the Beacon. Now, where do we start? Let's get into some of the stats and features actually. And we'll start off with the Beacon 3, uh, which is the updated version of the very popular Beacon 2. And it was you guys that told me about the Beacon series and to check it out. Now this shoe is under 100 pounds here in the UK. It's super lightweight at 8.5 ounces, which is nice for a UK nine and a half. It's got a six mil drop. Uh, you've got the fresh foam midsole, uh, which is all the way through to the outsole. Then you've got these strategically placed um, bits of rubber on the outside, I'll show you them in a sec. Uh, you've got an engineered, uh, very breathable uh, mesh upper, which just gives you all sort of this barely there feel to it. And then you've got this uh, ultra heel design, which hugs the back of the foot for a supportive fit. Then we've got the um, Brooks uh, Ghost 13, which is 120 pounds here in the UK. So, you know, a bit more expensive. So the New Balance, uh, you've got the DNA Loft combined with the Biomogo DNA um, down the side. Uh, they've sort of blended the two to create this uh, new take on the, the midsole, which is kind of cool. Uh, you've got this engineered mesh upper. The shoe weighs 10.1 ounces. It's put on a little bit of weight versus its predecessor. Uh, you've got an 11.5 mil drop. Oh, and on the uh, New Balance, by the way, it's got a six mil drop. So that's that. So where do we start? Let's start with, well, the New Balance. So if you've not seen any of the videos I've done on this shoe, uh, the New Balance Fresh Foam is not a uh, midsole that I would say is my preferred choice. I do prefer the Fuel Cell midsole um, from uh, New Balance, but that's nothing to take away from this. It's just about personal preference. Uh, it's very popular on the 1080, and I can understand why you guys like it, but for me, I just prefer the feel, the springiness, the, the pop that I get from the fuel cell midsole. Uh, there's a slight irritation for me if you're wearing ankle socks, this does really rub in on your ankle uh, and on the outsole, um, it's kind of cool because today it rains so it kind of washed it off a little bit for me today which done me a flame up, but the, uh, you get little bits of rubbish stuck in here. Now this is the exposed foam, uh, you've got these strategic place bits of rubber here which do give traction, as I say I wore them in the rain today and they were absolutely fine. On the upper, you've got the strategically placed bits um, of overlays which add structure down the lateral side, which is kind of cool. Uh, the lacing's traditional. Um, you've got a, well, it's not really thick, but it's not really thin um, tongue, which is okay. Um, the upper's breathable. It's a little bit thick, but it's breathable. Um, and the overall feel of the shoe is lightweight, sort of, I wouldn't say up tempo, but it's you know it feels like it does want to sort of travel along. I think its sweet spot in, is in those sort of mid to longer runs, so you know like your 10 to 15 k's or like your 10 miles. I think that's where it comes into its own. Then we've got the Brooks Ghost 13, which I think is a, a great example of a traditional running shoe from Brooks. Um, it sits beneath the Glycerine 18 in terms of you know that's a long run shoe. This is more of a versatile daily trainer. Um, I think the sweet spot for me with this shoe is, is the sort of five to 10K runs is where I've been finding myself putting this on. And in particular when it's been wet and horrible outside because there's loads of traction on the outsole. Uh, the uh, engineered mesh up is great, it's breathable. Both of these shoes fit very true to size, by the way. Um, the feel of the round the heel is a little bit more to my liking versus the New Balance. I'm really not getting on with that too much. Um, and I just like the overall traditional feel of it. I like the um, DNA loft uh, combined with the Biomigo DNA. So you get the, the sort of responsiveness from the DNA loft, but you then get the sort of traditional feel of a Brooks shoe where they've combined the two midsoles. Um, so which one do I prefer? That's why you're here. Well, for me, I actually prefer the Beacon 3, which may surprise some of you based on the fact of some of the other videos where I'm not a huge fan of Fresh Foam X versus the fuel cell, but actually out of these two, I prefer the Beacon 3 purely because it's lighter and I just feel that I can pick up the pace a little bit better on those longer runs. Uh, the Brooks is a great shoe. I'm not taking anything away from the Ghost 13 because it really is a good daily trainer. But I just feel the Beacon 3 for me offers me that little bit more sort of versatility in terms of speed. I'm doing a little bit more speed work in my runs, you know, so if I'm doing a long run, 10 miles is a perfect example, easy out, fast back. I know I can get this done with the Beacon 3. So that's why I prefer it over the two. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Fresh Foam X. There's nothing wrong with it. I just prefer the feel of the fuel cell. But out of these two, for me, I would go with the Beacon 3.